this week's Mornings in the Middle. I'm Jason Sandberg. I'm Carson Dad. For our first story, let's go to Colin and Dylan, who interviewed faculty and students about their New Year's resolutions. Let's see what they had to say. I'm trying to do better in grades because lately it's been going downhill. I think my New Year's resolution would be to make smart decisions, make good grades, maybe make some money, obey my parents, and focus more on sport. And basketball to get better with the right hand. Um, okay, so one of my New Year's, there's many, but one is to make my kids better cooks because they're getting older <laughs> and not far from leaving the nest, so they need more time in the kitchen. My resolution and goal is to try to find people in our area that need help and assistance and find ways that I can help them. My New Year's resolution is to uh, each day in the month of January, to throw away or give away 12 things. Jason, how did midterms go for you? Uh, to hear more about midterms, let's go to Trace and Tyrus and see what they have for us. Do you think your teachers gave you the right things you needed um, to study for midterms and be prepared? I mean, yeah, I think they all gave us fair questions that were actually like in the content that we viewed over the years, so. Yeah. Hi, Zach. Do you think you did good, or are you proud of your results on the midterms? Um, well, I haven't gotten all my midterms back yet, mm -hmm. but I'm proud of what I've done so far. That's awesome. And I think I'll do fine on the other ones. Good job, Zach. What do you think was the most stressful part about midterms, Eliza? Well, I, for the math one, I, didn't, I overthought a lot of the questions, uh -huh. so I didn't end up finishing. So that probably was the most stressful part. I have the same problem myself. Thank you. So, what or who helped you the most on your midterms? Um, I think Miss Eastwood helped me the most. She gave me some nice, helpful tips, and she uh, had a during extra help. She had a little study hall. So that's awesome. Thank you. Coming up is an audience favorite for their second part of their series, Jams with Drake and Zach. Let's go see what songs they quiz these students and teachers on. Welcome to Jams with Drake. These are our contestants. I'm Alex Middlecoff in the 8th grade in Miss Eastwood's advisory. I'm Reese Lacoste and I'm representing Miss Little's advisory. The way this works is we'll play a song and we'll have three rounds, two songs per round. When we play the song, the first person to guess the uh, artist and the song name gets two points, one for each answer. First song. <laughs> I'm not NBA Young Boy. I don't listen to NBA Young Boy. Oh, Young Boy never broke again. Yeah. Song. That makes it. would be so disappointed. Slime <laughs> oh, so Belief by. I, just, I, I think that you got just one point. Alex got one point because he said that. Alex has so four. Is one to nothing. Music, Alex please. is winning. Do you do everything but NBA song Young Boy. number two? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a She didn't buzz first. I buzzed first. <laughs> it's not Alex. Alex. After further review, the Alex. ruling on the field stands. Alex hit the table first. Alex, what but is the song? The song is artists. Yummy by Justin Bieber. Two points for Alex. So I three. Three to zero. Three to nothing. Alex is winning. Okay. Third song. Oh, circles by post. Oh, they do this every year. Two, that's not two, right. Current two. score is three to two. Alex is winning. I have three. Song, song num number four. numero quattro. Five. It's Jason Derulo. What you say? Featuring Justin Bieber. Oh. Current score. Is, current score is five to two. Alex is still winning. Mm -hmm. Song number five. Oh shoot. Right. Oh, it's. Let's, let's, you know it? Oh, Mr. Sandman. No, it's, no, it's Mr. Clean by Young Gravy. Oh, no, six. 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 Uh, well, his current score is seven to two. Yes. Alex is a boss. <laughs> oh, Why are you playing the worst song? Oh. I don't know 
Tell your neighbors a bunch of people. Live it on a prayer. <laughs> Easy to <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, high fashion. Current score is nine to two. Three. Nine to three. Song number. Alex is winning. Eight. This song is Pulse by, I don't know, but it's featuring Italy Chapa. Um, okay, so Alex has two points because he got Italy Chapa was in. It's in the song. Sweet, so I have a button. No. Oh, Ice Ice Baby! No! Yeah. No, no, it could be another one. It could be Under Pressure. Just oh, saying. yeah. It could is it be. Ice Ice Baby, though? Bye. I don't know. That's fine. Please. <laughs> Alex. No, 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 no. I just let her think. Ice Baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, uh, it's been one point. Okay, so oh. Alex got one point, Reese got one point. Unless Reese ties it up. Which probably will happen. Yeah, this one's worth. Thank you for the night. Roxanne! No, she, she's. Oh, no. Can you do the other artist? Is she, no, she has another artist. Another artist? I know it. Maybe, probably not. Say it. It's Roxanne by Arizona Zerhouse. Oh, I did know that. Alex won. Thanks for watching this week's Mornings in the Middle. Bye! Bye. Let's see with this song. You expect me to say that? I don't even know how to spell favorite. <laughs> let's let's go and see what songs they quiz this set of students and teachers on. <laughs> Coming up as an audience favorite, Drake and Zach. Woohoo! Installaminate. What is that supposed to mean? Installment. <laughs> Installaminate. <laughs> What is he doing?